The following program is presented by its producer through the facilities of Manhattan Cable Television in accordance with government regulations. We are not responsible for the content of the program and its transmission does not imply our approval. This is Richard Rothman. We're on the air on cable TV, 20 years. And we're very proud to have very exciting guests. Our first guest today, in person, is Florence Morrison, leading Spinto lyric soprano, very famous for her Verdi and Puccini roles, and traveling all over the world, getting a tumultuous applause. And I just want to ask her a question today that has always been bothering me a little bit. It has been said about your voice that it's exciting, but it also has personality. What causes a voice to have an exciting and also a personality? And what is meant by that personality word in connection with voice? Please. Well, excitement is what opera is all about. And the way the composers wrote the music, it was written so that the voice, if you sing properly, in an opera house would be soaring and you'd have diminuendos. And all this makes this very important and immediate uh, connection with the audience. And now I just want to hear the voice of Florence Morrison, an excerpt from her Puccini album, which is on sale wherever good recordings of opera music are sold. So tell me a little bit about it, please. This is the concept, or the, the system behind the iClean concept. And what's special, though, about this company as against any other organization? And she's going to give us a sensational fashion show of furs, right here and now. Uh, welcome to Kim Thompson. OK. Thank you, Let's go. Here we go. Where, where's the action? What's happening? OK. And Cece is wearing a Red Cross fox coat. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Donna. Very good. Uh, the West Point skydiving team will come out of helicopters and they'll land at the feet of uh, uh, your friend and mine, Maya Koch, who oh, will great. snip the ribbon yeah. and start the show going. There's enough to see, so uh, yeah. anyone who has children may want to come yeah. down. How'd you come to write this book? Well, Richard, this book came about of 10 years of planning family reunions. And we thought this would be the ideal thing to do for people all over the United States. He is a Bing Crosby fan club president. And here he is with his own music. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm weak and maybe I'm strong. But nevertheless, I'm in love with you. Maybe I'll win. Uh, here's a portrait in oil mm -hmm. of a poodle. And here's a mixed breed. That's very beautiful. A telephone number four. And this book is getting to be a very big success. He's got reviews in about 22 papers around the country, giving him laudatory commendation for the... But uh, how did you happen to write this book? What's the subject in the book, you know, very briefly, oh, very briefly, oh, that is the most exciting? What do people say, gee, I learned something, you know? Well, it's about going to the movies back in the 19, last half of the 1930s, yeah. the first couple of years of the 1940s. And the yeah. book is on sale, yeah, wherever good books are sold. Yeah. 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 Good. I want to say hello now to Jim Grasso, been on the David Letterman Show, the Joe Franklin Show, and many other shows. He is an executive with some <laughs> big government agency and so on and so forth. But in private life, he's an entertainer, he's a singer, but he whistles through his nose. <laughs> He's a comedian of a very special kind, and very briefly, I'd like to say, what would you like to do for us today? 
Oh, well, I won't inform anybody, and if you want, if you want to listen to myself, I'll be on the resident show on Sunday. For example, if a guy walks up into a bar and says, Hey, babe, what's your name, address, and phone number? You should reply, my damn business. Yeah, my damn business, not your business, my business. Okay. And another sample that I have is, what would you like to say very briefly, please? Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm going to start jello wrestling soon. Wow. And, um...